Booze over the way her musical has been treated by the folks who make the Tony nominations. Cynthia Tornquist is standing by at the Marquee Theater with all of the details. Cynthia? Lauren, just a short time ago, Julie Andrews, who earned a Tony nomination for Best Actress for her performance in Victor Victoria, made a startling announcement. Following the curtain call at today's matinee, she told the audience she is refusing her nomination. I have searched my conscience and my heart and I find that, sadly, I cannot accept this nomination. And I prefer, I prefer instead to stand with the egregiously overlooked. Now, Andrew's announcement comes just two days after the Tony Awards Committee announced its list of nominees for this year's Tony Awards. Now, Andrew's was the only nomination for the nearly uh, $9 million musical. The show is a stage adaptation of the 1982 film of the same name, which also starred Andrews and was written and directed by her husband, Blake Edwards. Tony Adams is one of the show's producers. Uh, did you try to talk her out of this decision? We played devil's advocate in terms of every scenario and what might be best and what the upsides and what the downsides were. And at the end of the day, left it to her to make a very, very personal and very major and painful decision. Also snubbed was the big budget musical Big, an adaptation of the movie starring Tom Hanks. It received five nominations, but not the coveted Best Musical nomination. Those went to Rent and Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk. The other nominees were A Chronicle of a Death Foretold and Swinging on a Star, two shows that closed shortly after they opened. The definition of entertainment is how many people come. And the fact is that Victor Victoria and Big have both been extremely successful in the, with audiences. The controversy has called the nominating system into question. Jed Bernstein, head of the League of American Theaters and Producers, which helps oversee the Tony Awards, defended the committee's decisions. There is no scandal here. You know, the nominations committee wasn't caught using drugs. They weren't, uh, uh, the, the ballots were not miscounted. The issue here is that the taste of these 14 people differs than, let's call it, the popular taste. I say they can go to hell. As for the Julie Andrews decision... She will stay on the ballot and life goes on. And if she wins, in the same way, you know, Woody Allen has won some Academy Awards, even though he's never attended one and pro proclaims not to be happy with the process. The developments have also caused havoc for the producer of the Tony Awards telecast, who had expected to feature musical numbers from Victor Victoria and Big. I don't think you have to be a, a, you know, a brilliant producer to know that Julie Andrews' presence on the Tony Awards, it would be rather important to, to, to Broadway, to the theater, to, to people across the country. Um, so obviously that would be something that I'd like to try to work out. Julie will have a lot to say about that too. Once again, just for a moment, please. You've been just sensational. Thank you. <laughs> Um, the 1996 Tony Award nominations were announced on Monday, and I applaud all my fellow nominees, and I send them many, many congratulations. However, flattered as I am and honored to be also nominated, I have to say how deeply sad I am to be the only nominee in this extraordinary company. Victor Victoria is a collaboration between designers, choreographer, director, cast, and crew. An extremely happy and successful collaboration, which makes it especially sad that so many of my colleagues have been ignored by this year's nominating process. I could not have done this alone. I have... Um I have searched my conscience and my heart, and I find that, sadly, I cannot accept this nomination, and I prefer, I prefer instead to stand with the egregiously overlooked... <laughs> 